Hey everyone, Coach Arrow here. On this week's Behind the Play, we're gonna break down an awesome play by Unko and the rest of the team in our overtime defense versus Shanghai on Route 66. This payload probably gets through now. It takes some time for the door to open, yep. so we are gonna be in overtime by the time yeah. the payload gets here. So it's still just one fight that Dallas need to win, but what ultimates do they actually have, really? Entering this fight, Shanghai had three ultimates to R1. They had Earth Shatter, EMP, and Transcendence, and all we had was our Brigida Rally. For our best opportunity to win this fight after such an unfortunate start, we opted to have our defensive setup positioned at the choke point between first and second point. Knowing the general timings that Sombras take to set up in this position, Anko sent volleys at a specific spot, decloaking and putting Ding at critical health allowing for AKM to finish them off. You know, over time, by the time the payload gets here. So it's still just one fight that Dallas need to win, but what ultimates do they actually have, really? Closest switch to the Ana here, because they know they're not going to be running. Wait. Wow, Ding! And he's got, oh! He was just too deep, he was pushed in. Ding would have had EMP for this fight, but now the Dragons are without him. Yongjin's also gone down. They're going to throw the Transcendence into this fight and hope to try and make something happen with only four players, the fuel. After that kill, we were like, just go, go, it's, it's now or never, because like we knew if we don't take the fight six versus five, since they have a lot of ultimates and we had nothing, like we, we would have lost the map. Push, 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 we need to push, push we need to push. Trying to hack uh, rain. It's now or never, go push, 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 and the entire team follows up on that call in the very, very brief window that we had, taking control of the point, and that gave Uncle enough time to build up the trance, which allowed him to keep the team alive just long enough to eke out that win. This play isn't an easy one because it requires Uncle to anticipate Asombro's location at a very specific time, and with her being invisible, it's not an easy thing to do. That push allows us to get a second pick on the enemy, forcing Shanghai to have to use ultimates at a man disadvantage. This is a cool play because it's a play that shows off Uncle's mechanical skill and his timing, but it also shows off his communication and how the team can work together uh, on a whim and adapting in the moment.